Hi there, and welcome to In the Workshop with Hyundai Power Equipment. Today we're going to look at draining the flood bowl on the carburetor of your four-stroke petrol engine. Well, we're going to go down to the workshop and show you how to do it on several machines, whether that be a compactor plate, lawn mower, pressure washer, all those sorts of things, generators. Now, people may ask, why do you need to drain the fuel from the flood bowl? Well, I'll tell you why. There are several reasons why you want to do this. First of all, if you want to winterize your machine, put it away for the winter and what have you, Modern day fuels can go stale in as little as two weeks. Um, so if you've got stale fuel in your machine, when you come back to use it next time, it won't start. So there's a good reason why you want to drain the fuel from your carburetor. Another reason you want to drain your fuel from your carburetor is if it's already gone stale and you haven't winterized it. So again, you want to drain all the fuel from the tank and all the fuel from the carburetor to allow fresh fuel to enter so that the machine will start. A third reason may be contaminants in the fuel, water in your fuel tank, several you know, things that you, uh, may cause you to want to drain the fuel completely from your machine. So what we're going to do is pop down to the workshop and show you several examples of how to drain the fuel from various models of carburetors on various machines from the Hyundai Power Equipment range. So there's no time like the present, let's go down to the workshop then, shall we? Just before we go to the workshop, if your particular interest is in one of the machines shown on screen, click on the link to go straight to it. If not, stay with us and watch the whole lot. Here we're going to look at how to drain the carburetor on our Hyundai inverter generator. This particular one is a HY1000SI generator, however it applies to most of the inverter generators. You may find a little variation in that some don't have drain tubes and what have you. In this case you can simply hold your container beneath the carburetor whilst draining. It'll all become apparent shortly when you see what I'm doing. So first we need to undo this screw here, okay? So using my Hyundai socket set, I need to get a crosshead screwdriver out, so okay? Using the crosshead screwdriver we'll undo the little screw in the top of the access door. Turn this anti-clockwise to undo. Once it's undone, remove the access door and place it to one side. Here we have the fuel tap. You'll see that the, I've got the fuel tap in the off position. And there's the air filter. There's the carburetor float bowl. Now on this particular machine, you'll see there's a little screw up this tube and a plastic pipe allowing the drain fuel to come out through the bottom of the generator. So we need to catch it from this tube at the bottom after undoing the screw. So I'll just line the screwdriver up, get my little funnel and jug in place, and undo the screw. So as you can see, the fuel is now draining through the plastic pipe and into a suitable container. So we let all the fuel drain out. As I said, it's about the size of an egg cup, the little float bowl there. So it doesn't take much fuel, we'll just get rid of the drips. And just tap the drips off. Okay, fuel se pipe seems to be empty. We don't want fuel everywhere. And having drained the float bowl, we can do up the screw to close the tap. So you'll notice we've got the fuel tap in the off position. So next thing we do is replace the door and tighten up the screw. Now what you can do if you've got fuel in your tank, you can leave the tap in the on position and drain it all from the tank through the carburetor into your container. Unless you've got some means of removing the fuel from the tank like a vacuum pump or something like that. Okay. And that's how to drain the float bowl on your inverter generator. Here we have a pressure washer. Okay, here's the engine, air filter and carburetor. Now this carburetor has a fuel tap on it. I'll turn the fuel tap off. Okay, so to drain the float bowl we need to undo this screw here. It's the one that's on an angle rather than the one that's pointing vertically upwards. This particular one needs a 10mm spanner. I'll undo it anti-clockwise. And sometimes you need to take them all the way out and sometimes only about halfway and the fuel will drip. Okay, so I'll undo it a few turns. I can see the fuel's dripping out now. A couple more. And I'll just let the fuel run out. It doesn't hold much about the quantity that you get in an egg cup. So once it's uh, all dripped out, I can remove my funnel. It's going down into a jug below. There we are, got it all. Tighten the screw back up and re-tighten with the 10mm spanner. And that's the float bowl drained on your pressure washer. So here we have a compactor plate. Much the same setup as the pressure washer. You know, here's the float bowl, carburetor, engine, air filter, that sort of thing. This one has a fuel tap and it's shown in the on position. Here's the on position and this way would be the off. So, I'll turn it off, that would be fuel off, 
and that would be fuel on. So here's the float bowl, and it's this bolt here that we're going to concentrate on for draining the fuel from the float bowl. Okay, this one on the angle. So we'll turn the fuel off, and then not the one that's pointing vertically up, but the one on the 45-ish -ish degree angle is the one that we would undo to drain the fuel from the carburetor. And that's how to drain the float bowl on your compactor plate. Here we have a Hyundai lawnmower. Okay, here's the engine, air filter, and here's the carburetor. Underneath the carburetor is the float bowl. And the screw we're going to be undoing is this one here. Now, you will also see that there's a screw on the bottom facing vertically upwards. It's not that screw to drain it, it's the one pointing towards us on an angle. This one here. So we're going to undo this in an anti-clockwise direction. I'll just get some paper towel underneath to catch any drips I might have. There we are. And using a 10 millimeter spanner, undo the drain screw in an anti-clockwise direction. Sometimes you need to unscrew them all the way. I'll actually unscrew this one all the way. But sometimes you can turn them, you know, a couple of turns and you'll find that the fuel will start dripping through and will drain nicely. I've removed this one completely. Let's just let the carburetor drain. It doesn't hold much, as I said, it's about an egg cup full of fuel. And that's that one drained. Right, I'll replace the screw, making sure I don't lose the little washer that's under the screw, which helps it seal. Tighten it back in by hand. And finally, tighten it back up with my 10 mil spanner. And that's the float bolt on your Hyundai lawnmower drained. So here we have a Hyundai generator. Usual sort of layout, engine, air filter with a carburetor between the two here. It's here. Now this machine has a fuel tap. Now this fuel is on because it's in the vertical position and we need to turn it horizontally to turn the fuel off. And we are horizontal, the fuel's off. Now as I said, here we have the engine, the air filter, and between the two, the carburetor. The float bowl is at the bottom of the carburetor, and this one has just the one screw, which is the drain screw. So I'll undo it with a spanner. Again, using a suitable container underneath it. I'll just unscrew it with a screwdriver a couple of turns. Sometimes these will start losing fuel after a couple of turns. Sometimes you need to take the screw right out. This one's actually coming out with just a few turns. So I've got a funnel here with a piece of pipe into my jug just to catch all the drips and what have you, but if you've got a very small container, you can get it under there and catch it. It's not much fuel. There we are, that's that one drain. I'll tighten up the screw. Just nip it too with a screwdriver, and then finish it off, make sure it's tight with the spanner. There we are. And that's the float bowl drained on your Hyundai generator. Well, I hope you found this video useful. This has been In The Workshop with Hyundai Power Equipment. I've been Adrian, and see you next time.